Welcome to the show, David. Welcome. No, I'm already here. <laughs> I say welcome, you say thank you. That's how it works. It's a form of conversation. <laughs> Let's start again. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> welcome to the show, David. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's 52, staying where you are. Chase has put... Goes right with 52. It's really old for an athlete, you're quite right. She's going to be a nightmare, isn't she? Beating her up to the post office for your pension when she hits the age. <laughs> You've got no chance getting ahead of the queue there. You'll have to camp up overnight. She'd be the same age as you, wouldn't she? I beg to differ, how dare you? 2012, 52? She's... Oh, in 2012, she was 52, yes. I see what you're saying. I thought you meant, like, now. <laughs> Maths has never been my strong point. Next to face the chaser, it's Josh. Welcome to the show, Josh. Thanks, Brad. From Blackpool. Yep. Born and bred? Yes. Good lad. All right, and what do you do for a living? I manage a care home. All right, good. Um, what are your clients like? Are they lovely? They are, they're great. One of them has a massive crush on Mark the Bet, actually, so she's going to be really happy. Really? What's her name? Yeah, her name's Christine. Christine. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be out in a minute, Chris. <laughs> Have no fear of that, love. Um, and what do you do to relax? Um, I do DIY, and I spend time with my daughter, and I grow uh, chilies as well, so... You know when you rummaging around in your chilli box. <laughs> Have you ever forgot to wash your hands? I had some uh, Naga Boot Jalakias, which are, like, the hottest chilli known to man, and uh, I touched uh, my eyes on that. My eyes were watering for days after that. Were they? Good job you didn't <laughs> touch them. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Afternoon. I went go-karting once. It's a lot like this is going to be. Fast, exciting and over very quickly. <laughs> Are you sure that was go-karting? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, then? Well, I'm retired now. Okay. I'm, I'm 70. Um, but I do um, oil painting, I do knitting, and I recently joined a 50-plus 50, 50 club. Yep. And we get together, we do fish and chip lunches, Sunday dinners, play cards, um, go on coach trips. Do you drink? No, 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 just tea and coffee and... <laughs> What sort of a club's that? Well, it's, it's a club for people to get together, not to get... Don't even put me in your bag. You know when someone's having a cup of tea? <laughs> Go, Mary, are you having a lovely afternoon? I'm having a lovely afternoon, yeah. No, we're not that Go, oh, look, at that's a lovely painting. And when they all look that way... Just... <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Wouldn't you? No. I would. Well, it's a good job you don't belong to our club, then, isn't it? Oh, I can't belong to your club. I'm not 50 yet. <laughs> <laughs> Step close to home, well played, Chaser has put. Oh, I can't believe you got that right. I thought you'd have been automatically drawn towards pie chart. <laughs> oh, pie. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these pizzas is often topped with an egg? A, Fiorentina, B, Sloppy Giuseppe, or C, Four Seasons? You've put Fiorentina. I think it's spinach and egg. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that answer, yeah. The correct answer is... Well played. Step close to home. Fiorentina's right. Chaser has put... Goes wrong with Sloppy Giuseppe. I got a question wrong on pizza. No, oh. indeed. You're confusing wow. Sloppy Giuseppe with one of the cameramen we had to let go. <laughs> <laughs> How do you relax, though? I cook and I bake. When I come home, I like to get in the kitchen and I'll stay in there for about six, seven hours at a time. OK. And cook and bake everything. Really? Yes. And if you was to win some money today, what would you do? Well, a friend of mine's just opened a baking business, so I'd love to be able to invest in that. And if it was enough to be able to go and work with her, I'd love that. Wow. Yeah. A singing baker. I know. <laughs> musical cakes. What about that? That's an idea, isn't it? It's a great idea. It's a fab idea. Musical cakes. Remember where you got it. I'm in. <laughs> Will you invest? Doesn't matter, I'll give you the idea. <laughs> my proxy gives me 20%. 20%? We'll negotiate that. 10. 5. 12. 6. 10. 6. 10. 6 and a half. 3. I'll take it. I'm in for 10. What do you do in your spare time? Spare time, I like a pub quiz. Uh, I've got a team we go every Tuesday to a pub in, in Hitchin. Called? Uh, the Cock. Is it called the Hitchin Cock? Uh, no, no, Bradley, no. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Lucas. Thank you. All right, uh, what do you do? Uh, I basically do a music-based workshop uh, with, like, mainly with beatboxing, but with sort of, like, music-based things uh, as well. I could just have some beatboxing, please, if I may? 
Welcome, everyone. Watch the chase. It's the only time and place. If you watch, watch the chase. Watch me, watch my face. Get down. Okay. Uh, there's a tour waiting to happen here, I reckon. No. <laughs> Which of these is not an Enid Blyton character? A, Dame Slap. B, Mr. Twiddle. C, Sandy Cheeks. That's what we used to get in Great Yarmouth under the pier. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Hannah. Hi, Brad. Ever played the piano, Hannah? No. <laughs> Ever held a spanner, Hannah? Yes. <laughs> Ever been a nana, Hannah? No. Ah. So, um, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm an international account manager. That don't rhyme at all. No. That's a real letdown. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>